Welcome to the August edition of Special Olympics Rhode Island Magazine. My name is Henry Reddy, and joining me today is Norm Moss, a Special Olympics Rhode Island athlete recently competing in politics at the Special Olympics U.S. Games. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Norm, how did you feel when you were selected to participate in USA Games? Uh, I felt very honored. It was, it's such an honor to be picked for a Nationals game, Games. Um, I got picked back in 2010, and that was an honor, but to be chosen to go again is just, when I opened up that letter and I saw it, it was, it was awesome. It, words can't describe how it felt. It was just, it's such an honor to be picked out of it all the great athletes in Rhode Island. Yep. So. Um, you do, um, you, was your family excited too for you? Um, yeah, my family was very excited for That's me. Nice. Uh, everyone was. What very, event did you compete and how did you place? Um, I competed in powerlifting, specifically bench press, and I got first place. Congratulations. Thank you very and much. I see you got Thank your you. medal there. Yep, yep. That is gorgeous. Thank you. How often did you train for the games? Um, I would train on my own um, three times a week, uh, twice at a gym in Jamestown called Balanced Sport and Fitness. Um, and then as a team, we would go to Riverbend over in uh, South Kingstown on Saturdays. Tiger Patrick so, is your head coach. Yes, uh, yes, with Joe Patrick, yep. Yeah. I understand your coach, Joe, had a great idea by asking parents to write letters to athletes so it would help inspire you more in your competitions. How did it affect you? Um, it affected me a lot, actually. Uh, just uh, I already knew that I had my family on my side, but just uh, reading that letter and being, you know, just seeing that really... It felt nice, and it was great to read that before I went out on stage and to be able to uh, uh, bench. And there was a lot of people. There was a lot of people in your weight class. Um, no, actually, uh, there were some in my. Uh, yeah, there was a, quite a few in my weight class, and uh, it's it was a long day, but it was worth it. It's <laughs> great. Yeah. What motivates you to participate in this, this sport of weightlifting? Um, just the competition. Um, as. Uh, there's a saying out there uh, that once you start powerlifting or just lifting weights, you get bit by the bug. And I certainly got bit by the bug, and I don't want to stop. Um, I just want to continue to get better and better in this sport and continue to uh, go after goals that I set for myself each and every single year because this is a, not just a sport to me. This is my, one of my passions, and I absolutely love powerlifting. That is great. I used to do it. I loved it too. I, I stopped doing it in 95. Mm -hmm. My favorite sport was pop, was the deadlift pop. Deadlift? Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. How did your teammates do in the politics events? Uh, they did great. Uh, Andy uh, Tappuccini uh, ended up getting silver in bench press, deadlift he got bronze, and then overall he got silver. And Steph did the same, uh, the same actually. She, for her, uh, her weight class, she got silver in uh, bench dead she got bronze and then silver overall that is great can you tell me about some other things that took place at the games where you were not competing um things that took place is uh they had a nice picnic for us on the fourth of july over at uh the husky stadium so that was great um they had uh olympic village over there that was huge they had uh, healthy athletes that was huge that they had uh, at the University of Washington, they actually have their own bowling alley there. So that that was I saw that. Yeah, it, yeah, that that was quite interesting. Um, but that was a lot of fun. And then me personally, uh, personally, I love doing photography. So I was able to get out and take some pictures and uh, just walk around campus, and it, it was a lot of fun. And how so. opening similes you were in the. Um you were in where the Seattle Seahawks play. That's a nice stadium. Uh, we, uh, yeah, no, we were actually in uh, where the Huskies play. The, oh, really? Yeah, the Washington Huskies. Yeah. But uh, that was quite the experience, just being able to go out onto the, uh, into that I saw it was stadium. great, how big, how big it was. Oh, it was, was huge. huge. And then just uh, going out there, being introduced, seeing everyone there was just an experience that I'll never forget. Well, that is incredible. Thank you. I'm glad you had a great time. Thank you. I hope you get picked again for, for what powerlifting again. Soon. Thank you. I uh, I wish to. What was your favorite part of the entire experience? Um, my favorite part, uh, besides me getting my medal, is just uh, being able to. Uh, I know this was Steph's second time, but uh, just being able to see her get up there and uh, do her thing that was awesome. And then Andy being his first time here, just seeing him excel was really that was an awesome experience to be able to see him excel. And then just going to other events like going to uh, track and field and seeing Nick and Antonio that was great them getting their medals and just the experience as a whole was 
something I won't forget because and here yeah. Joe made a you guys yeah. about Joe's video he made yeah Joe made a video that uh, well, for everyone to see let's, let's, so. let's see a, let's see a little of it of Joe's um, Patrick's video from the world's from the summer national summer games
Well, thank you very much for coming on the show. We hope you no come problem. again. No problem. Thank you very much thank for you. having me. Uh, all those special moments around, we salute you and wish the best luck in your endeavors and, and your medals you, you got in Seattle. Thank you very much, Henry. Appreciate Back that. More special matters magazine of these exciting messages. Hi, welcome back to Special and Picture Ryan Magazine. My name is Megan Miller, and joining me today is Coach Sue Carlson and SLRI athletes Antonio Pizzarillo and Marina Temple, who recently participated in the Special Olympics USA Games in Seattle, Washington. Welcome to the show, guys. Welcome. Thank you, Thank you for Thank having you. us. Sue, what sport did you coach at the USA Games? This year I coach athletics or track and field. Antonio and Marina, how did you feel when you were selected to compete in athletics at the USA Games? I, when I first found out that I was competing in the Games, I really couldn't believe it. I was just shocked and I just, it, it was just so surreal that I, I got chosen throughout all, throughout all the, all, all the teams and throughout all the, uh, all the athletics that I would be chosen. I would have never have thought that I'd been chosen. It was really, it was, it was really surreal. When I, uh, heard that my coach was going to recommend me, I was privileged, I felt honored, and I was really excited, but I didn't think I was going to actually make it, and then when I, when, they, when I actually got the letter from Stephanie and she handed it to me saying that I was going to compete in Seattle for track, I, I was just, I was overwhelmed with joy and I couldn't hide it and I was just, I was uh, really happy and I, was, I couldn't be any more happier now being here. That's great. Mm -hmm. And can you describe what opening ceremonies was, opening ceremonies was like, and what you enjoyed most? What, when, when, I, when I, the opening ceremonies, you know, when I was when we first when we were in the room, we were in this gymnasium, and they had the, it was it, it, it was just like being in the World Olympics because they you know, they had the names of each of the states that they do with the countries, and they and they had the post of the names and each of the the young states will march out and it was, I just I felt I just, I felt like I was at the World Games for the, for the Olympics and it was just it was just such a cool experience and it just it didn't really, again it didn't really feel real it just felt like I was it was a dream and that I couldn't believe that we were there and that we were watching all the um, teams going out and also even when you even when we started walking out into the whole arena we were watching uh, seeing all the people and watching that we were all walking together in this big arena with all the people watching us. It was really, really cool. Yeah, for me, it was just unbelievable just walking out there into the, the arena, the, the football field, seeing all the states there, knowing that every single one of us are competing at the highest level, and then um, just walking outside, seeing so many people, so many f like famous singers, so many mm, um, states, it was unreal. I never experienced something of that magnitude before. And Marina and Antonia, what events did you participate in and how did you place? So uh, first, um, running long jump, I placed bronze, I placed, um, I placed third. And um, so, uh, so at first I did the bronze, and that was the, um, the, r the running long jump. And then, and then for the 200, I placed fourth. And then, and then, and then the 400, I placed fifth, and then the four by 400 relay, um, I placed the gold. Um, each of the events were really, really cool. I think I, we all, I, we, we all got PRs. I, we, I got PRs for all of my events, which basically a personal record through like, all the trainings of all the work scores I have had previously. I got PRs in all of them, so I was really, really pleased, and I was just. And right before, when I was doing my runnings, I was just thinking, I was like, I wasn't worried about getting a ribbon or a gold. I would just thought that, you know, whatever I get, I would be so happy and just so pleased that I was so honored just to be in, in Seattle. Yeah, yeah. That I wasn't thinking, like, yeah, well, if I get fourth or fifth, I'm going to be so disappointed. I just had, I wasn't thinking about that at all. I was just so excited for all the medals and the ribbons I got. And uh, for me, in the 200, I placed in fourth. Um, the, four, the long jump, I got a bronze. I got same as Marina, I got third place, and then for the 400, I placed in sixth place, and then for the relay, we won gold. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it was it was just unbelievable. Um, the fact that our whole team during the relay was like, we all put our effort in, mm -hmm. and we, you know, it was like we knew that there was like no going back. Right. This is like mm -hmm. like one our one once in a lifetime opportunity, and we um, we capitalized and we 
we got the code, so. I'm a swimmer. I know how intense relays can be mm -hmm. and yeah. how, yeah. how exciting they are to even watch mm. the other people compete. And, oh, and I know, yeah. You're definitely. rooting for your teammates and mm -hmm. you're yelling and by the time the relays are done, half the time there's no water left in the pool because we're splashing <laughs> so much and yelling, go, go, go. It's mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> Similar. Sue, can you tell me how the other athletes on your team placed? Yep. Um, all four athletes all competed in the same events. Um, they each did the 200, the 400, the long jump, and the 4x100 relay. Um, Nick placed 6th in his 200 and 5th in his 400. He won gold in his long jump, and again, he was part of the gold-winning relay team. Kelsey also placed 5th in the 200, 4th in the 400, 4th in the long jump, and again, was part of the gold-winning relay team. They did a great job. They really did. They have lots to be proud of. Definitely, and congrats to your other teammates as well. That's Thanks. great. Thanks. Antonio and Marina, what was the most important advice you gave you before your competitions? I thought definitely the one, one really, really good important advice that she gave us was definitely right before our eatings. She also went right before we had breakfast, depending how close our races were. She wanted to make sure that um, that we were able that we ate a certain amount of food and make sure what foods were okay and what okay and what not to eat what to eat right before the race just so we could be able to digest it all and what foods would be able that we could digest easily what foods that we couldn't digest easily so that was always that was always um, that's always a really important advice to have before you do a running and the other advice is that she's given us about in in and also what I have also thought about too is about. When you're running, but you run with a short, when you run a short distance, is that you just want to go all out. Make sure you run really hard, and make sure you run really hard because you go such a short distance. But make sure you keep on looking forward and just keep on going. With the longer distance, with the four by four relay and for the four for the four hundred um, run is to make sure you're running very very hard, but also make sure you pace yourself. And that's why I always mm -hmm. think to myself because you're running a longer amount of ru running, so you want to make sure you're pacing so you don't you're able to run the whole lap without getting exhausted in such a short period of time. So when you're pacing yourself, do at a speed that you're comfortable, but you're working hard, but not that you just get a poop out in the, before you get right. to the end. So that's what, that's what she's been giving, that she's been telling us that. And also, and also for myself, I just kind of think of that too. What about you, Antonio? Um, th the best advice I've gotten from Sue was telling me to just, just give it all you got. And it's really don't feel bad that you place fourth or sixth. The next time you gotta do better. You just gotta have that mentality that you know, just give it all you can. And then if your body's aching and you can't walk out there, and it's fine. That means you gave it your all, and you're you're trying so hard to uh, to um, to compete. And um, and also getting enough sleep because Seattle's time was much different so when if it was like nine o'clock at seattle it would be like at 12 o'clock in rhode island or and it, it it really um it can mess you up if you don't mm -hmm. get enough sleep mm -hmm. right jet lag i understand mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Really. even though it's only three hours and it doesn't seem like a lot mm -hmm. but it is very much so i understand oh, yeah mm -hmm. definitely um sue how often did the team practice for the usa games and how did you train them each athlete, or collectively, they were given a weekly schedule to follow um, Monday through Saturday with the Sunday as a rest day. We would try to get together twice a week based on their work schedules and meet and do workouts. But the expectation was that on the off days that they would continue to do their training independently. Um, and then as we got towards the end, shortly after the state games, we started to get together three days a week and really specify our workouts to make sure that we were touching upon all the events that we would be doing in Seattle. And can you all share with me a special memory from your experience at the USA Games? Um, I definitely, um, a definitely memory that I have had is a lot. I think definitely um, is well, the one thing is the opening ceremonies. That's definitely a really special time that I'm never going to forget. Like just the whole experience of the opening and how everyone was always, we were all together as like, um, the stage and as community, we were all marching in. and. Um, and also, in definitely, that we're winning the gold medal. That was as a team, and that we definitely we, we weren't we were hoping for a gold, but we weren't expecting to win a gold. That mm -hmm. was really really shocking. We were just so excited. And also, personally, my um, so a lot of my family came. Out. I have um, 
an aunt and uncle in Arlington Heights, Illinois, that came out, and an aunt from Chicago, Illinois, and then I had an aunt and uncle that came out from Arlington, Washington, to see me. So, on a personal for a family and personally for me, that was also a very special time that they were able to come out and see me participate and see my friends as well. Good. That's awesome. What about you? There's so many to choose from, but I mean, I think my best memory of Seattle was turning that corner on the relay and seeing that guy right next to me and then just going full, full speed to the finish line and I knew that my, everyone was watching me on the relay my teammates were counting on me for the relay and then once I crossed it I wasn't sure if we got gold or silver and then I heard we had gold and I was just I just lost it <laughs> yeah, we all yeah. Just lost it. yeah we all just and I was mm -hmm. that was like very emotional mm -hmm. and uh very like just very like just getting all that stress out you know we, we did it you know we're coming home now for gold and representing Rhode Island so and that was just really special for me. What about for you, Sue? I have to agree with the both of them. The opening ceremonies was spectacular. It was um, a huge celebration that kind of introduced us all to what the week was going to hold for us. And they, they all gave their best. Each and every event, they put out what they had on the track with no reservations as to saying that they didn't put forth their best efforts. And as Antonio mentioned, we did go into this relay not expecting a gold, and, and to come away with that was, was great. Um, it was the most difficult day for the girls because the two most difficult events that they had in their program happened to happen that day within an hour of each other. So we knew we had a challenge, but the boys stepped it up. They, they you know, really took care of their portion of the relay. And the girls, you know, dug down deep and knew that they, they weren't going to get another opportunity to perform that relay. They had to push aside the tiredness and the aches and the pains that they felt. And they knew, you know, as uncomfortable as it might be, they were going to come out on the other end. And the, the ending of that was made my week. You know, it was spectacular. And I think we all had a good cry because it was our last event. And it was just a time for us to all let the stress out you know, for the week, and, and it was a perfect way to end it, and I couldn't have been more proud of them. Thank you all so much for joining me. Thank you so yeah, much, Megan. Thank you, Thank you so much. Megan. We'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back to Special Olympics Rhode Island Magazine. Hi, I'm Mary Ellen Powers. Joining me now is Special Olympics Rhode Island athlete <coughs> Ryan Fleming, his parents, Dennis and Karen, and his brother Patrick. Welcome to the show, you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome. Ryan, congratulations on being selected to compete in swimming at the USA Games. It's what very appreciated. Oh. What was the experience like? Oh, what the experience is like, um, it's amazing. I mean, you work hard, um, you get to hang out with friends, um, get to have a fun time and spend uh, time together. Great. Um, now, what events did you <coughs> compete in and how did you place? So. All the events I did um, were, there are two high performances, 100 fly and 100 free. One, um, 100, uh, I am, excuse me, um, I got third place. And uh, 100 free, I got um, fifth place ribbon. Um, so, and then 100 fly, I got third place. And so did the relay. Wow. Now, <coughs> I, I am is individual medley, right? That is correct. Okay. I did my homework. <laughs> you definitely did do your homework. Um, Dennis and Karen, <coughs> what was the experience like for you as parents uh, watching your son compete at the games? It was, <coughs> it was just an amazing experience for our family. Our, you know, we all had, were out there watching Ryan swim and the races and the families that were there, watching all the athletes from around the United States. It was just great. Oh, that's great. <coughs> How about for you? That was a great experience. It was good. Uh, Ryan had to work really hard to compete. <laughs> Um, he did a real nice job, and it's great to see the camaraderie and support that all the athletes give each other. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> uh, now, Patrick, you must be so proud of your brother. How do you help motivate Ryan uh, when he competes? Um, I learned from him, actually. He uh, motivated me throughout my whole life. He's been my rock all going throughout sports. It was cool to change sides for once because he was always my number one supporter, my number one fan. It was just cool. It was an awesome time. Oh, that's great. Um, now, a uh, question for all of you. What was your favorite part of opening ceremonies? Ryan, you want to start? Well, let's do that. My favorite part about the opening ceremonies is um, 
it's like when you get to walk in through delegations. Um, when I uh, when I walk in with my Rhode Island delegation, I feel that um, I feel much experienced in the USA games now that I'm with Team Rhode Island, the best team. All right. How about for you, Patrick? Uh, it was cool. It was an awesome experience seeing like how they put it together, like the effort they all <coughs> put into it. It wasn't they made it so it was great for the athletes, and I think the athletes enjoyed it. Nice. And for you too. It was great to hear the stories that they had. Um, the governor spoke and how all um, the kids just enjoyed themselves and it was a really good time. I, I thought it was great watching all the athletes come in and how excited they were, high fiving everyone and mm -hmm. jogging and dancing. It was, yeah. it was a great experience. Oh nice. I was watching on TV back at home and it looked so exciting and I felt the energy just watching it from TV. I can imagine what you, how you all felt being yeah. there. Um, now, Ryan, I understand you are a distant swimmer. Mm -hmm. um, now, from one swimmer to another, uh, what advice would you give to me and other athletes who want to swim longer races? Well, that would be an answer that if you are an athlete or anyone else is an athlete, I think you should keep practice, practice, practice. Mm -hmm. And you should also stay healthy through eating, through athletic exercises and everything. But just as long as you're having fun, that's all that matters. That's right. And just keep swimming, right? You bet. <laughs> That's my motivation. <laughs> um, now, can you all each share a memory from your experience at the USA Games? That would start with me because, yeah. um, so my experience at USA Games was fun. I get to spend time with friends from other delegations that I don't know of, especially that kid Brian Henry, which I could give him credit for, um, for being a fast swimmer, which I could give him that. <laughs> um, but we have been friends since um, the first time we competed together. Um, like the, f um, we have something in common, like swimming um, fast, and we have good experience with swimming. That's just the way it is. Okay. How about for you, Patrick? What was your favorite memory? Um, just seeing him being like one of the youngest swimmers in his races and all the high performance races, like how excited he was, and just seeing him place. It was, it was actually it was awesome. Couldn't really. Ex it's hard to explain. Wow. The emotion. That's great. How about for you too? So watching Ryan swim one of his races, he um, had to work really hard to um, compete, and he actually made third place by I think it was point two of a second. So it was just so exciting to watch, and his expressions on his face, and he was just such a good sportsman. You know, congratulating the winners and everything. It was awesome. That will be the dude from Texas <laughs> when I got <laughs> point two seconds close to him. <laughs> Wow. Sounds like, uh, like it was a real close one. Like, yeah, was. definitely close by that close. <laughs> wow. No, it was nail better. <laughs> wow. How about for you, sir? I, I want to say, I guess, the best experience is just to watch them all when they got their medals and how they cheered for each other. And, you know, it didn't matter if they came in first or fifth. Everyone shook everyone's hand. Everyone was happy. And all, all those kids out there and adults worked really hard. It was impressive. That's great. And the camaraderie is so amazing. That's uh, a good opinion. You are a great example of that, um, the way you um, interact with other people you race against. Well, that is true because um, what I also learned that using good sportsmanship is a good example of being a good athlete. I mean, like you get to clap for whether if it's second place or first place, you get to clap because it's your friend. It's mm -hmm. your sportsmanship that, that's counting on you. That's right. Well, congratulations again. Thank you very much. And, I, and it's a pleasure to have all of you here. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And thank you to Special Olympics for giving us this opportunity. Yeah, thank, thank you, you, guys. You've really done best, Team Rhode Island. <laughs> Be sure to tune in next month for another great edition of Special Olympics Rhode Island Magazine.